I guess uh, being a gynaecologist and dealing with women's health, um, you see a, a variety of issues from well women going through obstetrics and having deliveries through to women with uh, chronic pelvic pain, which is my area of specialty. At the beginning of the day, you don't actually know what's going to walk through your door. I think that's the, the important thing. And there's a, a new routine every day, different patients, different problems. And of course, uh, the same patient um, can have a variety of different problems throughout her life and it's that continuity of care that's also uh, of, of vital importance. I think the other thing that makes it less mundane and allows me to continue enjoying what I do is the fact that there's some variety in uh, my, my work. I um, also teach medical students, I um, lecture at the university and I have uh, resident and registrar staff and passing on the information and the knowledge about what I've learned, what my mentors have taught me is a really important part of ensuring that I don't lose my enthusiasm and my passion for what it is and remembering the reason that I went into health in the first place was to help people and help patients. My choice of going into gynaecology and helping women is one that I've never regretted and uh, every day that I come to work I find that there are new challenges and it's not always a good day. Some days of course there are problems, there are sometimes disasters, but fixing those problems, trying to find the answer, helping to pass on that knowledge is a really important way for me to keep the passion and, and to understand that uh, what I do is actually important and I'm helping to change people's lives and make them better. What we don't know is often much more important than what we do know and if we look at a patient who comes in who has a problem that we can't necessarily solve straight away, it then comes down to thinking outside the box and realising, well, maybe I need to bring in other people, maybe I need to do some more uh, research myself, maybe I actually need to um, uh, consult with uh, senior colleagues who may have dealt with this before, maybe I just need to uh, take a break and not think about it too much. I mean, there's a whole variety of ways in which challenges can be dealt with and, and met. Of course, sometimes they are too great and sometimes you can't deal with them. And sometimes we get to a point where we have to say to our patient, look, I'm actually not sure that I have the solutions for you, but I think this is the way that we can proceed for the time being. At the end of the day, it's not giving up on the patient and not giving up on yourself. It's always important to recognise that we don't have the answers. We aren't always going to know the way forward, but by thinking that we can progress in some way, be that through research, through study, through uh, asking around, through sending that patient off for further investigations and being prepared to go that step further, then you're not going to let yourself and most importantly the patient down and you are going to get to some kind of uh, middle road where the patient may not be perfect, and we're not always looking for a cure, we can't always look for a cure but still it's about making improvement for that patient at that time. I guess that then follows into the educational side of things. By teaching people and passing on knowledge that we have now, it's very, very helpful to uh, the, those trainees that are coming through, to the, the junior consultants who you may have uh, been asked to help out. Um, and passing on a certain degree of enthusiasm for them to help find out those challenges. Of course, as an individual, we'll never solve the problem, but by disseminating the information and having a whole team of people around you who can help to solve that problem, you are gonna do much, much better for not just an individual, but for a whole population. And I think that's where the two go hand in hand. And whilst you understand that there are challenges, that there are difficulties, and you're not always gonna solve the problem, it's through uh, disseminating information and by making sure that you're passing on your own enthusiasm that you're able to solve those challenges and make everyone's lives easier including your own but most importantly for the patient.